Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle card reading for week commencing the 28th of October 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, find your purpose, create your future, to understand your reason for being here, raise your consciousness, come out of that spiritual closet and take charge of your destiny so that you can spread your wings and soar. Now, this week we're going to be using Keepers of the Light Oracle Cards by Carl Gray. But as always, before we get into this week's reading, I would like to say thank you so, so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be a service to you and for you to trust me enough to use, trust me enough to use my services. So thank you so, so much. And with that in mind, you know, don't forget to check out everything I have to offer, whether that's past life regression, future life progression, um, angelic Reiki, card readings, guided meditations, you know, my monthly um, online meditation evening, my monthly afternoon tea with the angels, my get to know and understand your chakras program, um, the uh, six week uh, program to step into confidence, and of course, the um, soul path discovery program, which I'm working on at the moment. Um, which is very, very exciting, and everything else I do um, in the meantime. So as always, I'll give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless. So what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highs? Ooh, good. For well, week commence in the 28th of October, 2024. What does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highs? Good. We commence in the 28th of October 2024. So we had two cards that have jumped out. So let's see. So the cards that jumped out are Kali Ma, Facing Fear, Major Spiritual Changes Unfolding. This is your chance to soar. And the other one that came out was Horus, Cosmic Gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. And the other card is Lady Portia, Divine Order. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. Okay, so what the cards are saying for, um, for us this week is that there are lots of changes that are going on at the moment. I mean, we know this. We can see it going on around us. We can feel it. But know that these changes are for the highest good of yourself, for the highest good for everyone around you, even if they don't seem that at this particular moment in time. Just know that old things, stuck things, things that no longer um, help you are being removed now um, so that the new things, brighter things can actually come in, come into your life. You know, so be aware of the spiritual changes that are coming in, you know. Maybe you're kind of like noticed that, um, you know, you might be seeing things out of the corner of your eye. You might be, oh, where did that whisper come from? You might be noticing more esoteric things online or people coming into your life. Embrace this because this is the spiritual aspect coming in now, um, which will help you, which will fill those voids where the... Um, stuff that no longer matters is leaving, the more spiritual, um, esoteric uh, side of wisdom and knowledge is actually coming in now. So embrace it, um, you know, go, you know, go with it. And remember that every thought you have creates your reality, whether that's um, by yourself or as a collective. So, you know, the more you you think and you stay on that positive energy and you see the best and the possible in everything and you allow the dark, the negative stuff to actually leave your mind so you're not thinking about it or just change it, you know, change it to, but what if it was better this way? So by making those little nuances, those little changes, you're actually changing your reality, the reality of everyone around you into more positive um, energy. So be very, very wary about your thoughts and your words that you use because they, they are magnetic. They will bring things to you. They will create things um, for you. So if you want the best for your life, for you moving forward, for the collective, then start having 
those more positive thoughts and words and try changing the negative stuff into positive stuff if you can and see the changes in energy that come around you. You know, there are lots of lessons unfolding for us at the moment. And again, that's with everything that's going on. And it's being aware, you know, that whatever happens is a lesson for you to learn from. It's something that you can go, okay, why has this happened to me? And look deeper into it, you know, connect with that spiritual side. Why has this happened? What can I do? What can I learn from it? What can I change to make it more positive? And when you start reframing your thoughts and your words, um, things really do start changing for you and more positive aspects start coming in. So this week, you know, this really is your chance to create a, the best possible life for you, to, you know, to spread your wings, to soar, to take control of you, to take control of your destiny. Um, you know, release those fears, allow the spiritual, the positive to come into your life, change your thoughts, your mindset and be amazed at what changes and what benefits come into your life. Now, as always, this is my interpretation of the cards and you may get a completely different interpretation and that is absolutely fine. I draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good. So I'll show you the cards again. So we have Kalima, Facing Fear, Major Spiritual Changes are Unfolding, This is Your Chance to Soar. Face those fears. Don't be afraid. Horus, Cosmic Gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. Choose your thoughts, your words wisely. Change them and see what brilliant things come in. And Lady Portia, Divine Order. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. You know, what lessons can you learn? What can you do that is right for the highest good of yourself and all around? And please do let me know in the comments whether these cards resonated, one particular card resonated. You've got your own interpretation from the cards. I always love hearing from people and I always respond to everyone who comments or messages me privately. So do let me know. And of course, we've got Samhain coming up. I'm not doing an online celebration uh, this year. Um, but you can check out um, a guided meditation I have on YouTube and Insight Timer to celebrate Samhain. It's a really brilliant one. It's one of my most popular um, guided meditations. So do check that out um, on uh, YouTube and or Insight Timer. So you can celebrate Samhain. I'll be doing my own thing um, in the background this year. Um, and don't forget to check out my show, Angels and Destiny, which if you're watching this today, is taking place tomorrow, Monday the 28th, um, 8 p.m. UK time. And if you're watching later in the week, then please do watch the replay. And obviously remember, if you are um, in America, your times are slightly different uh, because our clocks have gone, gone back only until next week and then we're back to uh, the normal time frames again. My guest this week is going to be the beautiful Celia Barsby. I'm really looking forward to that conversation, so please do join us. Again, don't forget to check out everything that I have to offer um, for you. And don't forget, if you sign up to my newsletter, um, which goes out weekly with all the card readings and everything else I offer and discounts when I offer them um, and news of what's going on, uh, then um, you get a you you can either have a free um, PDF to uh, connect with your guardian angel, um, your spirit team, or you can um, get a free future life progression recording to see what's happening in the future for you. So have a wonderful week, enjoy Samhain, and take care. And I will speak to you soon. Bye.